All right. Hi, Atlantis. I'm Sierra. I'm going to be your nurse today. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm good. So I'm going to ask you a few questions about your health. Um, and then after that, I'm going to do a little assessment on you. It's going to be a little more focused. So I'm going to be doing an abdominal assessment, just making sure you don't have any pain anywhere or bulging and stuff like that. I'm going to do a neuromuscular assessment. So I'm just going to be checking you know, your um, your smell and your touch, just a few things. And then I'm going to also do a musculoskeletal assessment, which I'm going to just check to make sure you have no limitations of movement, okay? okay. But first, I'm going to ask you a few questions. Um, do you have any appetite changes lately? Um, yeah, I eat like in smaller portions. And how was your appetite before? Um, I think I've always eaten in smaller portions, just probably has gotten smaller. I'm a little bit more pickier. And has anything changed for that to happen? Um, no, I just noticed there's been like uh, any type of dye, diary, dairy, dairy diary? product. Yeah, has so been like upset stomach, those type of things. Okay, and what usually happens besides the upset stomach if you have any dairy products? Typically, I have to use a bathroom. Okay, and does that happen every single time or is it just here or there? It's more um, prominent now than it was before. Okay, and are you still trying to take dairy, like, or are you completely taking it out of your diet? I'm working on taking it out of my diet now, but I'm letting myself off on it. Okay, that's good. Um, have you had any weight changes since then? Um, I haven't weighed myself in about a month or so, so I'm not too sure about that. Have you seen any change, like maybe your face looked a little bit thinner than usual, or maybe a little bit bigger than usual any parts of your body that look different i don't think so okay just checking um do you have any other foods that you don't tolerate besides dairy uh any type of like saucy food like the teriyaki sauce a cheese sauce those type of things any type okay. of like heavy sauce and is that the same um changes that you do have is like the bathroom bad and stuff stomachs like and bathroom ones okay. yeah and do you take anything for that or um at the moment i haven't really decided to take anything i'm kind of just like trying to avoid eating them okay that's good um do you take any antacids no okay have you ever tried it or ever taken them an antacid yeah um no i don't believe so okay um do you ever have any abdominal pain besides when you're eating which would be um, like in your our... stomach area, like before you're eating. Do you have any problems? Um, occasionally, but I think it's pretty normal. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Okay, and is it? What would you describe the pain as? Like sharp or nothing dull? sharp, but just a, a normal like slight pain. Okay, and do you have pain after eating? No. Okay. Unless it's like a dairy product okay. or something. Um, have you ever had any laxatives before or taken laxatives? No. Okay. Good. Um, how would you say your bowel movement is? I use the bathroom quite frequently. And yeah. how many times a day would you say? Uh, very frequently. So I probably urinate at least like four or five times a day. And then that's about it, I think. Maybe a little bit more. I pee quite frequently. Now, as far as bowel movements now, I mean, as in like number two. Oh, yeah. Like, okay. How I often, suppose sure I should no, say that. <laughs> how often do you do that in a day? Um... At least two to three. Okay. And has that changed for you recently at all? or It's anything? changed from, like, you know, normal, like, bowel movements to, like, diarrhea. If, like, I had something that, like, any type of dairy product or something that I didn't know had, like, a small amount of, like, milk in it or so. Okay. And has the color or anything like that changed? Um, I don't think so. Have you had trouble, like, passing your bowel movements, like, constipation? Yes recently or have that been usual for you i used to have trouble with constipation when it came to urinating but now i notice and when i like go to you know it's more like Freak it's yeah, easier it's to more pass. Frequent, yeah and were you taking any medication to help you mm -hmm. with that okay so it kind of just re resolves it goes back itself. yeah it goes back and forth gotcha um have you had any surgeries as far as with your like abdominal surgeries no. anything like that any rectal surgeries no type of surgeries okay. um do you have any other gi problems like hernias or um ulcers or anything like that that your doctor might have told you you had um no okay um what would you say your alcohol intake is um 
I think the last time I had alcohol was when I went to Mexico over the summer. I'm not very like a frequent drinker. So. Okay, so more of like a social. Uh, if that. Okay. Um, do you smoke? No. Do you take any other medications? Does ibuprofen count from time to time? Or? Um, yeah, time to time is fine. But do you take anything like daily? Daily, no. Okay. Um, what would you say your usual meal plan would be? Like, so your breakfast, your lunch, and your dinner. So I do tend to skip breakfast from Monday to Thursday because I'm going to school. Okay. And uh, if I'm hungry, I might eat like a small size of like tater tots and like an orange juice. By lunchtime, something, it's normally like a fast food item. If I'm running late to work, I might get like some french fries or I'll have like a quesadilla or um, like a sandwich or something I can okay. make home. Dinner normally is like like rice, beans, meat, okay. that sort. And that's your usual for Monday through Thursday and then yeah. the, when you're home from school, you usually stay on top of? Yeah, so I normally do breakfast okay. and then I do a lunch. A little bit kind of later in the day I'll mm -hmm. eat breakfast and then kind of like switches out everything. Okay and do you do snacks in between um, meals or usually you can't get to? So I, just because of like time restraints I normally don't get too much time to snack but I might snack once or twice okay. throughout the week. Well, that's good. Do you exercise? Um, I used to exercise but currently I'm not <laughs> exercising. Okay do you do anything you know um, cardio wise like do you try to do walking or do you try to do any running? Um, do like a Zumba dance type of thing. How often? Every day. Okay, that's good. Um, now I'm gonna ask you a few questions about just your function every day. Do you ever feel like you have any weakness? Um, like in your hands and your legs or? Legs for sure. Your legs. Now, how? when does that usually happen? Like after a certain exercise or um, just out of nowhere? Sometimes just from sleep or if it rains the night before, it was like my knees might hurt a little bit. Okay. And what would you describe the pain as? Like throbbing, um, stabbing? It's not something that's like stabbing, but it, it definitely is an unsettling feeling because I cannot clearly feel that it's there, but it's nothing too traumatic that I won't like be able to walk. Or... Okay. And does anything help relieve that pain or you just have to let it pass? No, we'll just let it pass. Okay. And is that, how often would you say that happens? More of just the raining? The raining and sometimes just if I'm like, uh, like walking a lot on campus a day, my, okay. my knees might hurt. Okay. Have you had any, um, past injuries with your knees or anything like that? I did run track for four years and I jumped, so I think that has more of like, put a lot of pressure on my knees. Okay, and were you doing anything like exercise-wise to help strengthen that? Or? Yeah, I did like, we like, there was um like heated up pads, lotions, okay. ice, things like that. Okay. Ice on, ice off. Okay, um, do you have any problems with your hands where you might feel like you have trouble grasping things? Sometimes. Okay. And is that more of the same with the knees where it's here and there, or is there something yeah. actually? Here and there, I don't think there's anything like too, too wrong. Okay, and have you talked to your doctor about it? No. Okay. Okay, that's just something to look at. I mean, you're at an age where it wouldn't be anything, you know, concerning, but to just get it checked, you know, mm -hmm. is always helpful. Does your family have any history of like arthritis? Or yeah, anything? arthritis does run in my family at a younger age. So it's, it would make sense as to why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. Okay. Um, do you have any often headaches? Headaches, not too much. Okay. Any migraines? No. Okay. Do you take anything when you do have headaches? I'm more of a like one it off type of person. Okay. Um, have you had any head injuries before? No. Okay. Do you ever feel lightheaded? Um, it's like during my menstrual period. Okay. Maybe. And that's most likely from the just blood loss and stuff yeah. like that. Um, do you take anything when you do feel lightheaded, or do you lay down? Or lay down, eat something. Okay, and that usually helps with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you ever have any moments of vertigo, like where you feel off balance or dizzy? Sometimes if I have caffeine, okay. coffee, it's definitely one of those things that. And do you still keep? the caffeine and coffee in your No, I try not to drink soda and I don't drink coffee. Okay, that's good. Um, have you ever had anxiety? Yeah. Okay, and do you have any symptoms that follow when you have anxiety? Um, like jittery hand shaking. Okay, and how do you usually relieve that when you have anxiety? Breathing. 
Okay, and that usually works? Uh, yeah, for the most part. Okay, and how fast would you say the breathing helps it? One minute, two minutes, a few um, seconds? Normally if I like kind of realize that my hands are kind of shaking, I just breathe for a few minutes, get myself back to normal pace, and then I'm okay. like fine after. And how often do you have anxiety, you would say? Maybe like before a big like test, an essay, okay. things like that. That's good. Okay. Um, have you ever had any numbness or tingling in your feet or hands? No. Okay. Do you ever have any difficulty swallowing? No. Do you ever feel like you drool a little more than you usually did? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, have you had any change in vision? Um, I was not wearing my glasses, but I started uh, wearing them now, so it's a positive change. Okay, and have you had any hearing changes? Not that I know of, but okay. noticed. All right. Um, so now I'm just going to do um, a little assessment on you. So I'll start with your abdominal area. I'm going to do a little listening, a little palpating where my hands are going to press gently on your stomach, and then I'll do a little percussing just over your organs just to make sure everything's fine. And then we'll do a little bit of range of motion and a little bit of test just to check your senses, okay? Okay. All right, so if I can just get you to lay across. And then I'm just gonna take the pillow from under your head just okay. so I can have you a little bit flatter. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna lift your stomach. So let me just warm this up. So I'm really just going to be listening to your bowel sounds and just making sure I don't hear anything when you're acting on them, okay? Okay. Right. And then I'm just going to do a little slight palpation. If you tell me anywhere it hurts, just let me know, okay? Okay. So I'm just trying to feel to make sure you have no nodules anywhere, any bumps. Um, does anywhere feel tender when I press on it? Um, I am on my uh, menstrual. Yeah, okay. menstrual, so it's a little bit little tense, discomfort. but probably wouldn't have happened if any other day. Okay. Just gonna check your belly button just to make sure it's in the middle, and then I'm just gonna look over while you take a deep breath for me. Uh, inhale, exhale. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And do you ever feel pain when you're doing deep breaths in the uh, abdominal area? No. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to have you sit on your bottom. Alright, so I'm going to have you close your eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch one side of your face and you just tell me which side I'm touching, okay? Okay. So this is my left side. Okay. Like around my forehead. Alright. Around my cheek. Okay. And I'm just going to test your hearing. Can you tell me which side I'm, I'm stepping my thumb? On my right side. Okay. My left side. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to just have you open your eyes. So I'm just going to have you follow my finger. Okay. All right. Um, so next we're going to do is, I'm going to put my finger out here. What you're going to do is you're going to try to touch my finger, touch your nose, and back to my finger, okay? So okay, starting hand. now? Yes. And then the other hand? Okay. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to have you just, with my hand, I'm going to push the side of your face, and I just want you to push back, okay? Okay. 
All right, and if you can just turn your head this way and then that way, do you feel any tense or pain while you're doing this? Um, a little tight, but probably because I haven't been like stretching or anything. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put your arms out and then move them forward and then back. So you move one hand like this and out, other one. All right. I'm just checking to make sure you don't have any limitations with your range of motion. Can you put your hand and move it in a circle? All right. And then this way. And then the other hand. And then back this way. All right. Okay. So now I'm just going to hold your knee and then I'm going to push down your foot and you just try to push up. Okay. 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 And then your other foot. All right. And can you lift up your knee? And then down. Other. Okay. Next, I'm going to just have you stand up. And from here, walk straight. I just want to watch your gait. To straight this way? Yes. Okay, you can turn and then turn back. Turn back. And walk. Okay. Okay. All right, you can sit down. Okay, now I just want you to take your heel and you're going to go down your leg and then the other leg, but in front of it. So, like, right in front of it. Yep. And then the other leg. All right. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you close your eyes and then I'm going to see if you can tell the smell of something. I'm just checking to make sure your smell is on, is fine and no, you know. Can you tell me what this is? Uh, it's like a pepper. Good job, okay. You can open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, thank you. That was good. Everything looks great. Your doctor will be right in. Thank you for letting me do this assessment on you, okay? All right. Thank you. Have a good one.